really had short hair until treatment when it started to fall out and I had to cut it because there were chunks of hair everywhere. So I had a transition cut, which I fell in love with and it's pretty much my goal right now, but it's just starting to go back. It started to go back about two months ago. So this is my two month mark. I have quite a lot of hair now, as you can see. I really like it because it just gives you so much freedom. You just get up and you go. But sometimes I'll admit that I don't really feel as pretty as I used to just because we see people with long, luscious hair everywhere. I mean, the lead in most movies is a girl with really long, bouncy curls that flow in the wind and make her look so beautiful. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I style my hair and things I do to make myself feel prettier on those days. So a short hair, you can't really style it when it's dry. If it's dry, it's done, it's gonna stay like that. No matter how much you comb it to the other side, it's just going to stay the way that it dried. So to style my hair, I usually do it straight out of the shower when it's soaking wet. I stick to products that have no alcohol in them, low to no sulfates, stuff like that, just to treat it nicely. I've been using just gel. Both of these gels are alcohol free, which is good because you're not gonna mistreat your hair. Mistreat. As you can see, I have this tiny rubble right here, this bunch of hair that just likes to go the opposite direction. Just get a little bit more hair, <laughs> more hair. Now on those dates that I wanna feel more feminine or girly, I can do three things. So the first thing is statement earrings. For the most part, I usually stick to small studs like these, but if I want to go the extra mile and look more feminine, more girly, then I will use dangly earrings. So I can go from short dangly earrings if I want to go for a more casual look or long dangly earrings if I'm really trying to be extra. I like these because they are kind of monochrome with a gold lining so they go with almost any outfit. At this point I have a whole collection of long dangly earrings that I alternate depending on what I'm wearing, what I'm feeling that day. Um, whenever I do I usually get compliments because Long earrings and short hair are a match made in heaven and I feel and look super nice. So the second thing I'll do if I'm really trying to spice things up is wear headbands. I prefer the kind of headbands that you just put on like this one right here, which is kind of like the casual version of a tiara. I can't really be walking around in a tiara all day. So I just opt for this. If I'm going for a more casual look, then I can use a printed headband like this one with a little bow to the side. It makes you look girly and feminine and adorable. Another thing I do is I play around with my glasses because I need them. I have prescription glasses. My eyesight is not 2020 at all. So I'll go on websites like Seni or I buy direct and I'll get fun, funky glasses I can wear with almost any outfit they match. So my favorite pair are these because they're clear and they go with pretty much everything. And when I lost my eyebrows, this bit right here that kind of is the same color as my eyebrows made them look not so invisible. Does that make sense? I really like these too because they're kind of statement glasses, you know, red thick frames. They make me look fashionable and chic in any outfit, even if I'm just wearing a white t-shirt and ripped jeans, immediately elevates the outfit. Um, so yeah, I really like these two. And finally, something that helps me do a small transformation is a really, really dark smoky eye or a really intense bold lip. When I first had, you know, no hair, I was kind of scared to play with makeup, but I found Celine Bernard's on Instagram she is absolutely gorgeous. She does really intense eyes and lips and it just looks so gorgeous with short hair. And ever since I started doing it, sometimes even to school, I'll just wear a red lip just because it makes me feel nice. Or for Halloween, I did a really intense black eye look and nude lips. And I don't think I've ever loved a look more on me. I know, especially when it's not your choice to lose your hair, it can be kind of a terrifying transformation 
especially if you've been used to having long hair like I was, it's kind of daunting to look at yourself in the mirror and see someone that kind of looks completely different because if you've seen a hair transformation, then you know you look completely different depending on your hair on your hairstyle. And especially as a woman, short hair can make us feel not feminine, not girly, not pretty. And that's completely wrong. You are gorgeous. You're beautiful. Short hair, long hair, no hair, doesn't matter. You're gorgeous. If what you need to do is to use these tips I've given you or something else that'll make you feel pretty until you believe it, like fake it till you make it, that is fine. That is absolutely fine. I had transformation like that for a while. I depended on my bold lip, on my makeup, on um, my glasses because when I had no hair, I didn't feel comfortable in headbands. I just used, you know, my statement glasses, long earrings, makeup to make me feel pretty until I believed that I was. And now I cannot be happier with my short hair. I don't think I'm ever going back to long hair because I love how I look now. But six months ago, it was a completely different story. If you're there right now, if you're at that point where you just don't feel pretty, if you don't feel feminine, don't feel elegant, whatever it is, then just give yourself time, you know, play around, with makeup, accessories, whatever you need to, until you love yourself too. Because you look beautiful. Again, long hair, short hair, no hair, does not matter. So I hope that these tips helped you. I hope that my perspective helped you. If I can do anything to help you become the best version of yourself on the inside, because you already are on the outside, if I can offer any advice, any guidance, make sure to comment, or you can also DM me on Instagram. I will have all my social media plugs in the description box. If you want to see my cancer journey, cancer story, I have videos up already and I will continue to be posting videos. I will be doing hair updates because I love watching those. I feel like they're so fun. So stay tuned for those. You can hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you can be informed every time I post a video because YouTube does not always give you notifications when people that you're subscribed to post. So make sure to hit the bell icon too. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you liked any of these, if you'll be doing any of these. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. See you next time.